Hello and welcome to WeBlog Any Car with me, Sheridan, and today I've got the Tesla Model X for my short review. UK prices start from £97,980 for this Model X performance. This car has the optional extra 22 inch black alloy wheels at an extra cost of £5,400 and the black and white carbon fibre decor in the interior for an extra £1,450. Fully charged, it should be able to travel up to 301 miles and be able to do 0 to 60 miles an hour in 2.6 seconds. New Tesla Model Xs also come with a four year or 50,000 mile warranty, whichever one comes first, and an eight year or 150,000 mile warranty on the battery and the drive unit. But for me, I would just spend all day just opening and closing the doors from the actual remote key fob. Loved every minute of doing that. You can't help but notice in the center of the dashboard with this 17 inch big screen that everything from the suspension to the lights, autopilot, vehicle settings, everything runs off of this screen. But, as you know, I'm not, a, as I said before, a screen fan as such. I prefer my buttons, like I said before with the Model 3. But once again, it's very easy to navigate through all the different menus. But there's one thing that I do like is this. The cup holders can be covered up. So one thing I don't like is exposed cup holders. That's a nice touch. Actually, inside, the finish and the fit, it's well done. All very nice and soft to actually touch. More than enough room. Sitting in here with the door open, it's like being in a convertible. Could eat lunch like this. It's lovely. Push the button to close the door. And you can see, yeah, plenty of headroom. Off we go silently. It's just so smooth and quiet. And actually, there isn't a lot of noise from the two motors. It's very, it's very quiet. Um, at low speed, you may be able to hear a slight kind of motor noise. All I'm hearing now would be tyre roll from these humongous tyres that this is fitted with. Um, but apart from that, it's just, I don't know if the microphone it's coming through on the microphone here, but it's just, this is the road surface. It's well insulated. For a vehicle of this size, this is just a, I know I say it quite a bit, a relaxing drive, but it really is. You, you can't have this thing, you know, and wiggling it like this. And this is in comfort mode. I'm not in the sport mode or anything. And it, it's planted for a vehicle that, you know, when you're in it, you know it's actually quite big. Um, I use the term quite big. It is. It's tall as well. The adaptive suspension dampening. Um, is in auto mode and I find that especially on this road here which is actually not the smoothest the ride this is just stroking along I put it into sport in sport mode you do notice a difference so I'm just putting that button there Maybe I'm just getting old. Comfort for me. I have found one thing that I don't, for me, I don't really like, and that is the overall size of this steering wheel. 
out of everything else in this car. I don't like the steering wheel. I prefer a smaller steering wheel. But that is, after driving this, my only, and it's a tiny, minuscule thing. That's it. But the way it feels though, it's quite a, it's quite a thick steering wheel. Your hands are at a 10 to two position. Which isn't unpleasant. I, I would, I think I would prefer a, a smaller steering wheel. That's, that's it, really. Apart from that, I cannot complain. The seats, I find them really supportive and comfy, actually. Slightly kind of spongy. Like, dare I say, squishy to, to feel. But when you're in them, they kind of just mould, mould to my body really. Haven't got any issues with that at all. And that instant speed is just, yeah, I've just gone down the slip right now, so I'm going away. 70 miles an hour. Just like that. I hope you can hear this. 70 miles an hour on the motorway. Just a tiny bit of wind noise. This motorway surface is actually smoother, so not really getting any tyre roll. All round visibility is really. Windscreen is about I feel it, I sit quite high. The door still here is actually quite low, um, and it's very, 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 very enjoyable. I suppose, in a weird way, if you buy one of these, you don't need a chauffeur, the thing practically drives itself if you want it to and the doors open and close by themselves. So, yeah, okay, you know, it's not cheap, but think about the money you save on hiring a driver to do those things for you. I really didn't think that this Model X would actually feel like this. Um, I thought it'd be a little bit more clumbersome, I suppose would be the word, but it really isn't. This thing is almost like a it's almost like a sports car, but then can be extremely smooth and luxurious when you want it to be. This is all for me in this short video. I hope you enjoy it. Now, if you've got any questions about the Model X, just pop them down below. Otherwise, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to We Blog Any Car. And as I always say, whatever you're driving, I hope it's enjoyable. I'll see you very soon for the next one. Bye for now.